My final guest tonight hails from Zimbabwe, but since the age of five has lived in London. A fantastic musician and just a prolific guy all round. Welcome to the show, Tabani! <laughs> Okay, what's this, all this barefoot stuff? Well, um, <laughs> we're in Kenya, and I'm an African, so I, I wanted to... You've uh, just gotten into I the just, vibe, I just eh? went for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but since five, the age of five, you haven't lived on the continent. Yeah, I grew up in uh, uh, Zimbabwe, which yeah. was formerly Rhodesia yeah. when, uh, when I was growing up, so sh that shows... Oh, well, was it Rhodesia? Yeah, gosh, it was. Shows my age. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Sure it was. <laughs> okay, so now on to your music. How long have you been playing, by the way? Because, I mean, it just reading what all the things that you've done, which we'll get to in a minute. Sure. I was just like, well, hang on. How did this all begin? Uh, I started off in uh, Pentecostal church in a gospel choir, mm -hmm. and I really, really enjoyed it. And then I thought, well, maybe I could, uh, I could, I could take this on uh, a step further and try to become a professional. So, yeah. And that's really where it all started from. Yeah. But also, I come from a musical family, because my dad was in a group called Amabuto, who yeah. were... Uh, 12 piece um, uh, vocal group. So, yeah. and they're, they're great friends with Lady Blacksmith Mambazo. So, I was going to say, because that's you know. exactly what comes to mind. Yeah, exactly. So, but my dad's group, you know, they, they did um, quite well in the early 90s. They played at the first Nelson Mandela tribute show at Wembley. Really? Yeah, yeah. They, and they performed at Glastonbury. They performed with Lester Bowie, the uh, jazz trumpet player. Um, and influences? Who are your influences? All across the board, from Marvin Gaye on the soul front, Bob Marley, um, and Bunny Whale and Peter Tosh on the reggae front. Gosh, yeah. African music, were, it's a whole breadth. Hugh Masakela, Brenda Fassi, uh, Miriam Makeba, God yeah. rest her soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and present day, Rocky Traore, you know. Oh, um, isn't she something? We love her. Oh, we love Rocky Traore. She Chayori. is something. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. is something. There's also something that I, I'd read that you do, which I thought was really interesting. This cultural fusion. Yeah, cultural um, fusion. You know, initiative that you're doing in the UK. Tell us about that. Well, what it is, Cultural Fusion is uh, a company which I formed um, about eight to ten years ago now. Mm -hmm. And basically what I wanted to do was to get, create a, a positive experience of African uh, culture through education. Education is very important to me. Yes. Um, and uh, working in the school system, I thought, well, I don't want to be a teacher because that's, that's too stifled. And, I mean, I, love, I, I think teachers, what teachers do is fantastic, but I'm more creative. And I don't <coughs> think I've got the patience for that. You know? yeah. So what I thought I'd do is go into schools on another, on another vibe, which is creativity yes. and so what we do as, as cultural fusion is we go in and we teach children um, uh, history about Africa stories um, and we also teach them drumming and this is across African the UK, dances yeah it? we go all over all over the, all over the country How and we, we target areas where, um, where where they haven't had that um, much contact with black people yeah, you know yeah. uh, and, and you know so we what we're doing is basically just uh, spreading the positive images of Africa yeah now, we're also joined by Sean Ross, who's organising the Rift Valley Festival. Welcome to the show, jo Sean. Thank you, Chisha. Now, both of you have a passion for football. And, of course, you're involved with Football Focus, which is all about developing African football. That's right. Tell us about that. Well, it's a big year, anyway, as it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, well, I mean, uh, we're doing the Rift Valley Festival, yeah. um, which uh, we're doing some projects in Lake Navash where we're holding the festival. Yes. Tabani, who's coming over, uh, obviously, to perform at the festival, he uh, was involved in his football project, uh, Football Focus, which I'm sure we're going about. But because um, we were doing the projects in local schools and the community projects around Navasha for the festival, mm -hmm. and Tabani was coming, then obviously, you know, it yeah, was, it it was laid in. up that, yeah. you know, it tied in and, you know, we were already involved in, in stuff that we could then promote his uh, organisation as well. Brilliant, brilliant. So, but do you think that football's come of age? On the continent? I personally think, think, I, I think it has. I think you've got some fantastic, we've got world class football players that play in the Premiership. Yeah, we don't even need to go you to Dennis. So, we all know yeah, who yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, <laughs> we all know who they are. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> so you know, our, our angle is to, to tap into, into that rich source because Africa obviously has got, just, it's got very talented football players. So we're hoping with football focus, we can reach out to, to, to various clubs yeah. in Kenya and, yeah. and, take that, and take that next step further. Yeah, but what, what are your hopes? you know, at the end of the World Cup? I mean, what would you like to see? 
happen. Well, you'd hope there's going to be a legacy from it, really, because yeah. you know, there's such attention on Africa yeah. that it's, it's going to be. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be it's inspiring to all the children, to yeah. anyone that's watching it, to see their nation being exposed like this on such a global scale. Yeah. That it's, you know, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity yeah. for, for everyone involved, you know, and everyone yeah. in the country, all the country, countries of the whole continent. Yes, yes. Okay, Rift Valley Festival. That's uh, that's on the way. What do you hope for for, for the Rift Valley Festival? Uh, the Rift Valley Festival. I mean, it's you know, it's a big project. Um, it's going to hopefully work on all sorts of levels. Um, uh, musically, obviously, because yes. it's a music festival. Yeah. Uh, we have Mus international artists coming over, but the, the core root of it is trying to expose and uh, promote Kenyan artists mm. and to, give, to create an event, an annual event that we hope that's going to build and build over the years yeah. that you know exposes Kenyan artists as well as the international artists that are performing as well on an international scale. Have something that can grow yes. until hopefully we've got something that's globally recognised as your well, Glastonbury. Like Glastonbury. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all right, I can, maybe that's a few years down the line. <laughs> I know. Or, you know, something like Zimbabwe, Uganda, they have yeah. their own music the festivals. Zimfest, can yeah. you need something like this? And yes. the response that we had just proves that. So Brilliant. that's Brilliant. the aim, to build, Brilliant. do it now and build it and see where we go with it. Yeah. I hate to show off, but this is our oh, second year show at off. Glastonbury. <laughs> 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 no, it's our second year at Glastonbury, yeah. and um, and we worked really well last year, so they've invited us back, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so we're going to be at the Fluffy Rock Cafe um, stage, and also the Avalon stage as well. So. You know, and then we'd go on. That's the stage. Just one of those stages. I, 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 I lived in the UK for so long. Never went to Glastonbury. It's you terrible. should go. It's you should terrible. Go. You should, yeah. But listen, there's a World Cup song as well that you're yes. that you've been working on. Yeah, this is really exciting because what we've decided to do, um, and this is um, really stemmed from the the whole music football collaboration yes. and this being a, a, a pivotal year. Mm -hmm. um, with it being a, a fantastic year for Africa for the 2010 World Cup, what we decided to do was to create what we think is a worthy World Cup song to come out of England yes. from a, a UK-based African, African artist. artist. So, you know, because all the songs that come out from the World Cup... And Sean Football's Sean coming home, it's, it's, it's coming. Not quite, it's not quite big to lose, it's coming home. Yeah. <laughs> so what we, thought, what we wanted to do was just, just take that moment to write a song um, which kind of uh, encapsulates all the good things about Africa. Yes, yes. And that's why Football Focus uh, have actually sponsored us to actually come out to Africa. So they're sponsoring the single, and 50% of the proceeds will go to charity through World oh, Vision. Oh, beautiful. So, beautiful. you know, we're we like to that. Do that. Yeah. We like yeah. that. Yeah, really passionate about that. <laughs> that's, that's really cool, though. Yeah. But um, you're hoping it's going to be number one? <laughs> well, with the, with the help with, of course it is. With the help of people uh, <laughs> sign, signing in and uh, checking it out. I mean, what people can do, because um, the single's not going to be released until, I think it's June the 12th or the 13th, the day the World Cup officially opens. opens. That's when, we, that's when we're going to be... But if you, people want to get uh, or get some information, they can go to uh, either www.footballfocusuk.com uh, mm -hmm. or they can go to our MySpace page, which is uh, www.myspace.com slash Tabani. Tabani. You know, so <laughs> well, hopefully we can, we can go to South Africa and, and pen the song yeah, there, yeah. And, well, and perform the song there. Tabani, just have a brilliant time. My have pleasure. a great year as well. Thank and hope you. you. Hopefully you can come back and visit us. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love, thank you for inviting us oh, on. Oh, it yeah, had yeah, to happen. Yeah, it yeah, had to happen. Great. You guys are going to hear the song, the World Cup song. That's what Tabani's going to uh, perform for, for us this evening. I hope you enjoyed the show and thank you for watching. Remember that you can write into us let us know what you'd like to see more of. You know, the email address is the Patricia Show at mandalatv.com.